So over here you can see that I have a character and I have some animation in the timeline. So let's say I want to, like let's say for example, extract out a particular frame right here to be used with other graphic element. So in order to do that, you should go to file and then you should go to export and over here choose frame. So if I want to, uh, let's say for example, export this part out right here, go to file, export frame, and then you can see that the pause moment right here, it'll export that out as a frame. So I'm just going to go to desktop and I'm going to hit save right over there. So what happens is that on my desktop, there'll be that frame right there. If I were to double click right over here, you can see that I only have the still frame for that particular section. So let me just refresh this out over here, just like that. Let, let me just go back, refresh right here. And then if I want to export this out right over here, just like this, you can just go over here. And then let's just go over here, just like this. And if I want to, let's say, for example, keep this onto a state, I'm just going to go around and then I'm going to go to hold in place like right here, just like that. I'm going to change around the position right here of this character, just like this. And then I'm going to export this now. So I'm going to go to file, export, and then I'm going to go to frame. And right over there, I can export this out right over here. I'm going to export this out as frame two and hit save. So once I do that, uh, both of the frames are saved out just like this, as you can see. So I got this character right here and then this one totally still images. So I can bring it in into any graphic editing um, application and then start editing it. And that is how you can work around with uh, frame exporting inside of Adobe Character Animator. So hope you guys learn something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.